We're living in the golden age of science. We've all witnessed how science and technology has transformed our lives with the sort of development and rollout of the COVID vaccines over the, uh, the past year. And today, what I'd like to do is show how science can also be used to change our foods into disease-fighting medicines. And I'm going to do that by telling you a story that begins on my plate of my granny's carrots and ends up with how advanced nanotechnology can turn those carrots into foods that might stop you going blind. So when I was growing up, I grew up in, the, the, in a small industrial town in the north of England. And my mother and father both worked. So they would send me to my grannies, who lived in a beautiful cottage in the Yorkshire countryside. My brother and I would play all day long uh, on the village green and come back exhausted and hungry. And my granny always had a plate of uh, delicious northern food there. We would have roast beef, Yorkshire puddings, and a pile of vegetables. And that would be followed by a stack of uh, beautiful home-baked cakes that my granny had made. But she'd never let us eat the cakes uh, until we'd finished the vegetables. Uh, and when I was a kid, I was very inquisitive. And that's probably why my mum and dad always used to send me to my granny's for the summer. And I was always asking questions. So I'd ask my granny, you know, why do we have to eat the vegetables? And she would say, because they're, they're good for you. And I said, well, why are they good for you? And she said, they're good for your eyes. And I said, well, why are they good for your eyes? And she would say, rabbits eat carrots, but have you ever seen them wearing glasses? And I thought, she's right, I hadn't. So I thought, oh, let's leave it at that. Since then, my research is actually exactly on that area, is how to change foods into um, uh, disease-fighting uh, medicines. It turns out my granny was right. Um, if you look at um, carrots, they do contain some molecules that can be good for your eyes. And these molecules are called carotenoids. Uh, and, they, and that's because they were first found in carrots. But they're also found in other fruits and vegetables. So things like peppers and kale and other foods. And as well as giving the, uh, giving the uh, desirable color to these um, fruits and vegetables, so like the red, the yellow, uh, and the orange color, they also are supposed to be able to prevent diseases. So they can act like natural antioxidants in your body. And they're also being claimed to be able to prevent things like cancer and heart disease and inflammation. But how do they actually help your eyes? If you look at the back of your eye, there's this region which is called the macula. Uh, and the macula is really important for seeing clearly. If your macula gets damaged, you go blind. And if you look in the, the, the macula, it's packed full of carotenoids. So these health-promoting um, food components have to get in your eye in order for you uh, to, to be able to see clearly. So what we want to do is, like, how can we uh, start with a carrot, so something like this, how can we get the, the carotenoids from this carrot into the back of your eye? So what we need to do is we need to look at the journey they take. So uh, this is a, the, 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 the normal journey that a carotenoid would take from a carrot to the back of your eye. So first of all, you have to chew the carrot. So this is a picture of my daughter chewing a carrot, and that breaks it down. And then it goes through your, your gut, and when it gets into your gut, it breaks down further, and it releases the carotenoids, and they go into your bloodstream, and then they're carried through to your eye. And that might seem like a pretty straightforward journey, but in reality, it's very arduous, and most of the carotenoids in the carrot would never actually get to the back of your eye. And this is where we're, we're trying to use the latest advances in nanotechnology to, to improve the, the amount of carotenoids that get into your eye. So what we're doing is we're trying to trap the carotenoids in these tiny fat particles. And we create these fat particles using uh, nanotechnology. So these particles, uh, are, we're taking regular size um, food ingredients and shrinking them to tiny sizes. So this is a lot like the comics that I used to read as a kid when I stayed at my granny's. And one of them I read was Ant-Man. So Ant-Man started off as a regular size and then was shrunk down to a, a tiny size. And when he was small, he could do things that he couldn't do normally. It also reminds me of one of the movies I used to watch when I was a kid. This was a science fiction film. And I used to watch this probably at, at my granny's cottage in northern England where it rained most uh, afternoons. So I would sit and, and watch science fiction films. And this was one called The Fantastic Voyage. And in this film, they took uh, some scientists and shrank them to a tiny size and put them in this tiny little craft 
and then injected them into a body of a really uh, important person who had a clot in his brain so that Kraft would ca carry the um, scientists through the body and protect them until they got to the brain and they could carry out the operation. So by being made really, really tiny, they could do things that a normal human being couldn't do. And we're trying to do exactly the same thing, but we're trying to do it using our nanofat to encapsulate these uh, carotenoids and carry them through the human body so they get to your eye. So now I just want to give you an idea how small these nanoparticles are that we're dealing with. So we all know what the size of a pea is. A pea is, you know, pretty small. But our nanoparticles are like 100,000 times smaller than a regular pea. So you, if you shrank them down, they would be so small, you couldn't even see them with a microscope. They're that small. And to just give you an idea, if you try to pack this pea with these nanoparticles, and you could put one nanoparticle in the pea per second, which would be really quick, because it would be very difficult to actually find one, guess how long it would take? It would take 32 million years to fill up this pea. So that just shows you how tiny these, these particles really are. So now what I want to do is, like, how do we actually make these nanoparticles? Well, let's start with some sort of um, conventional particles that we can all make in our kitchen. So imagine that you were trying to make a salad dressing, and you, you, would, you wanted to put it onto your salad. So you would take some vinegar, you would take some fat and a little bit of egg, and you would whisk them up, or you would use a, a, a blender in your kitchen, and you would make something that's called an emulsion. And an emulsion has got these small fat droplets which are surrounded by water. So we haven't done anything special now. This is just normal fat that you would get in your food every day. So how do we take that normal fat and nanosize it? Well, we can use a specialized device called a homogenizer, where we take the regular fat, we put it through this device, and it smashes the um, fat droplets together to form really, really tiny nanofat. So this homogenizer is like a regular kitchen blender with superpowers. So now I've shown you how we can make this nanofat. How can we actually use that to improve our health? So what we can do is we can take uh, a, reg a regular food, like a, a fruit or vegetable which has got carotenoids in, and we can take the carotenoids out. And the fruits and vegetables we use are typically the ones that we're not going to eat. So these are like the damaged ones or the ugly looking ones that nobody wants to buy. So now we can convert this sort of waste stream into a valuable food ingredient that can actually be used to improve your health. So once we've got the, the carotenoid out of the uh, fruits and vegetables, we put them into our nanofat, and then we put that nanofat into some kind of food product. So it could be something like a smoothie like this. So this would be our nanofat uh, with the carotenoids in, and we would just drink a little bit of it every morning. So now I want to show you like, the power of nanotechnology. And this is some of the experiments we've done in my lab. And this is where we've um, compared something called the bioavailability of the carotenoids in different kinds of foods. So one of them is just if you just take a regular carrot. So if I just took this carrot and ate it, most of the carotenoids that were in it would never get into my body. They would just pass straight through and into my toilet. So they would have a low bioavailability. Very little would be absorbed. If I ate this carrot with a little bit of regular fat, like a regular salad dressing, some of the fat would get into my body. But if I used our nano fat, you would get much, much more of these carotenoids into our body and into my, uh, my eye, and therefore it could help um, prevent us getting uh, diseases. So why, if we eat a regular carrot, does very little of the carotenoids actually get into your body? So the reason for this is when we eat the carrot, the carrot gets broken down in, into small pieces in our body, then it travels through our gastrointestinal tract, and most of it doesn't get absorbed because some of the, the uh, uh, carotenoids get trapped in the little ch chunks of carrot, and the ones that do come out form these crystals, and these crystals just go straight through your gastrointestinal tract and into your toilet. So they, so they can't have the benefits that we want. Now contrast what happens when we eat our sort of special nano food. So our nano food's got our little nano fat droplets in. We put it into our mouth, it goes straight down into our, uh, into our guts, and the nano fat gets digested very, very quickly. 
and it gets, the fat in our food gets converted to these little tiny nanoparticles, which are called micelles. So these are naturally produced in our body all the time from fat. And these micelles can take out the carotenoids from the carrot, uh, the carrot juice, uh, and, and trap them, and then carry them to your guts. So these are our micelles. They're like a little tiny nano vehicle, which has got our carotenoids trapped inside. And now they can travel through the fluid in our gastrointestinal tract and be absorbed by our cells. And these cells act like little factories. They take the carotenoids out of the micelles, and then they repackage them into a new kind of nanoparticle. So this is another natural nanoparticle that your body always makes. And this one is called a chylomicron. And these, these chylomicrons are suitable for carrying the carotenoids through your bloodstream so they can actually get to your eye. So we've talked about a lot of complicated stuff so far, so, so let's just take stock. What we've said is we create nanofat to, to trap the carotenoids inside. And then we eat them and they go into our body and they get converted into the micelles in our guts. So that's another kind of nanoparticle. And then they get absorbed by our body and converted into another kind of nanoparticle called a chylomicron. And then they can travel through our bloodstream. So what we're doing is very similar to what like an online shopping company like Amazon is doing. If you order something from Amazon, it comes from a great big warehouse. And then it travels across the country through different types of transport. We might have a truck, we might have a van, and we might have whatever this little guy at the end is called. And then it's going to arrive at your, at your house, and you're going to pick it up and take it into your house. But we're trying to do exactly the same thing in your body. But instead of having a warehouse, the food is like the warehouse that's got lots of different health-promoting molecules in, including the carotenoids. And again, just like the trucks and the vans, we have these different types of nanoparticles which act like little vehicles which carry it from the food through our guts and through our bloodstream. And then when it gets to our eye, we have specialized um, devices in our cells which can actually take the carotenoids and take them into your eye, just like when you pick up a box that's on your doorstep when your Amazon package arrives. So if you ever order something expensive from Amazon, uh, you often see the person who delivers it take a photograph of it, and they want to make sure that this package has actually arrived at your house. And we want to do the same thing. If we have given you this nano food, and you've got these carotenoids uh, gone through your blood and into your eye, we want to show that the carotenoids actually got to your eye. As I said at the beginning, we live in a really uh, exciting time for science, the golden age of science. And scientists have used the latest developments in optics to create these machines where they can actually measure the amount of carotenoids in the back of your eye. So that's really in incredible. They don't do any damage to your eye. They don't have to do any operations or anything like that. So what we want to do now is we want to use this new technology to try and improve the world. So if you look at the, the global population, like all over the world, people are living longer, which is a fantastic thing. And my granny was one of these really lucky people. So she lived to the uh, age of 94. But as she got older, she became more and more susceptible to different kinds of diseases. And one of the diseases that she got when she got older is she couldn't see clearly. Uh, she became partially blind. And this is true for lots of people when they get older. And this is due to a disease which is called macular degeneration. So normally, when you're younger, you have a healthy macula. But as you get older, your macula becomes diseased. And, and that means you can't see clearly. In fact, what it's like is something like I'm showing here. You can't see what's in front of you. And this is a very common disease. There's over 200 million people in the world have currently got this disease. Uh, but it's not just a disease for people in other countries. This is a disease that affects us all. So if you're lucky enough to live to 75, and a lot of us will be because we're living longer, you've got a one in three chance of getting this disease. And if you can see here, you can't see, you know, you couldn't see your grandchildren if they were in front of you, or you couldn't drive a car to the supermarket. So what might end up is you will end up in, in a, a care home. So what we would like to do is to use our nano-powered foods to try and treat this disease uh, and, and stop it from happening. So you may just take a little shot of a, of a drink like this every morning, and it stops you getting this uh, terrible disease. So I think we're in a really exciting place. We have nanotechnology to deliver these carotenoids to our eye. We have special machines 
that can measure the carotenoids in your eye. So now what we'd like to do is to be able to test our hypothesis and show that these nano-enabled foods can actually work in the real world and that they're safe and effective. So this is just like the people who've developed the COVID vaccines have had to do the same thing. So today I've taken you on a journey that started off with a plate of my granny's carrots and ended up showing you how the most advanced nanotechnology is being able to turn those carrots into disease-fighting foods that might prevent you going blind. So it turns out my granny was probably right. Carrots do contain something that can stop you going blind. And that's probably why you never see rabbits wearing glasses. Thank you. <laughs>